Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Ghost New Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti. It is a spectacular Saturday afternoon. Lots of action, 11 races, including the Roar Stakes. We're going to check out the track, the weather conditions, and then turn it over to track announcer Peter Aiello. A beautiful day in South Florida with temperatures in the upper 80s, partly cloudy skies. The main track is fast and the turf course is firm. In the first race on the main track at six furlongs, scratch number eight, Juno C, and scratch number nine, Precious Rachel. R Racing at Goldstream. Last in, first out, she's a raging Cajun, gets the first call, taken on by Bet on Drama and Ride on Beauty, these three across the course. Away racing fourth is Fearless Girl, then back to Say No More with Irish Adventure, and out the back is Ride Little Girl. The race to the half mile point, she's a raging Cajun, trying to clear Bet on Drama, now does so and leads a length and a half. Bet on Drama comes off the hip to race in the flank position in second, with Ride on Beauty in third. Fearless Girl improves to take fourth, racing around Irish Adventure, then Ride Little Girl, and say no more. They move around the far turn past the three furlong point. She's a raging Cajun, now re-engaged by Bet on Drama second. Three wide Ride on Beauty is now third. Fourth at the rail is Fearless Girl, followed by Ride Little Girl, then Say No More. Now the trailer is Irish Adventure. Amisael Haramio nursing the speed of She's a raging Cajun. Less than a quarter of a mile from home, She's a raging Cajun leads, but she hasn't shook Bet on Drama, who tries again on the outside with an eighth of a mile to go. She's a raging Cajun digging in. Bet on Drama not by yet up the inside ride on beauty with fearless girl 16th to go she's a raging cajun finding what she needs she's a raging cajun went gate to wire beats bet on drama by two third was fearless girl up fourth ride little girl then ride on beauty to complete your high five in 114 and four Stumbling and unseating the rider was living vicariously. The three is out of the race. From the center, Unpublished was away quickly. At the rail, Ask for Bodhi is firing through. Up on their outside, Vinny Van Gogh into the top flight. Earth is an early fourth. Followed fifth by Uncaptured King, and Jet Nout finds himself at the back of the group, and he's lagging behind with three and a half furlongs to race. Up front, Unpublished, and apprentice Ismael Cruz on top of length and a half. Vinny Van Gogh second, Earth on the outside third. Ask for Bodhi at the rail fourth. Driven fifth, and Uncaptured King, and Jet Nout's at the back. Five sixteenths from home, unpublished, has the lead. Vinny Van Gogh with dead aim, now racing in second, three wide. Earth is now third. Panici swings uncaptured King to the center. He has good-looking momentum. Still plenty of chances here through the opening quarter of 22 and 2. Half mile, 45 and 2. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Vinny Van Gogh takes the lead. Down the center, Earth, uncaptured King is next. Out the rail and unpublished. Earth trying to pick up Vinny. Vinny Van Gogh needs the wire. Earth surging to him. Here's the wire. Photo finish! Very close on the money. Earth surged right at the finish. He's in a win photo with Vinny Van Gogh and 104 and 2.
Good start for the favorite Fulminate, who's headed off for the yearly lead. Mudslide, Wicked, and Warstar have speed. Moving out the rail, it's Aunt Nadine, and on the far outside, Treves. The two at the back are Sydney Sue and Lucky Latkes. Half a mile from the finish, and the favorite kicks clear. Fulminate on top by two. Warstar second, Treves is third. Aunt Nadine at the rail is following fourth, and up to the outside. That's the best distance now, fifth. Up to the rail, six. Lucky Latkes. The trailer is Sydney Sue, and the leader is Fulminate. Fulminate with no excuse from there. At the top of the stretch on top, two and a half. Treves second, Warstar third. Mudslide Wicked on the outside, fourth. Lucky Latkes peels out three wide for a bid. Up the rail and Aunt Nadine with Fulminate still rolling. Three sixteenths to go. Fulminate on top by three. Warstar is second. Down the center, a late run from Lucky Latkes with Aunt Nadine. But nobody's getting close to Fulminate. Fulminate is clear to the finish. Fulminate and Amisael Jaramillo went gate to wire to win by three. Treves is second. Lucky Latkes gets up for third closer fourth war star aunt nadine 57 and three Excellent beginning for Authentic Heart, who's taken back soon after the start, with Tinker Taylor moving through at the rail to put a neck in front. Astro Weeks is second, Cardiac Mamba's third. Authentic Heart is away in fourth after the sharp beginning, followed at the rail by Irish King. Then it's Glory and Victory, and Danley is three wide at the back of the group as they race around the first turn. Two long shots in a spirited early duel with Astro Weeks outside of Tinker Taylor on the front end. They've opened six on Kodiak Mamba, who's racing from third. Authentic Heart is a length and a half behind him while fourth, and down at the rail goes Irish King in fifth. Still at the back here are Glory and Victory and Danley as they make their way through the quarter in 23 and four. Less than five furlongs to race. The leader is now Tinker Taylor. Clearly puts three on Astral Weeks in second, but he's going awfully fast. Third is Kodiak Mamba. Chirped along to keep up. Authentic heart for company on the outside. Irish King has inside position. Out the back are Danley and Glory and Victory, but they're drafting closer as they make the opening half mile in 48 and two. Into the far turn they go. Tinker Taylor's lead is three lengths. Second is Astro Weeks. Third on the outside to Authentic Heart. Chantel gives him the green light to get away from Kodiak Mamba. Glory and Victory and Dan Lee are next. Irish King shuffled to the back as they run to the top of the stretch. Tinker Taylor and Marcos Meneses to the top of the lane. Lead by two. Authentic Heart with the fresh legs and a length and a half to get by. Three back to Dan Lee, then Glory and Victory, and they're at the top of the stretch. Tinker Taylor fights to hold it. Authentic Heart with dead aim. Three sixteens to go. Tinker Tinker Taylor inside, Authentic Heart trying to press past on the outside. These two sprint an eighth of a mile from home. Three better than Danley, then Glory and Victory. Authentic Heart surging forward on the outside. Tinker Taylor has run a giant race in defeat, but defeated he is by Authentic Heart, who's in front. Tinker Taylor was second, Danley is third, Glory and Victory fourth, and then Kodiak Mom. Wide, Carrot Bars gets the first call. Snackster fires through, and Future Flay is between them. Away fourth in Kenya Sun. Then Hutzbah and Ever Three. Speed of the speed proves to be Carrot Bars, who's in front and over to the rail. On top of length and a half, Snackster, the nearest pursuer. Up on the outside, Future Flay is now third. Ever Three is fourth at the fence. Followed fifth by Kenya Sun. She's far back in the early run today. And the trailer is Hutzbah. She does her best running later. She's got some pace ahead of her as Carrot Bars is in front. Around the far turn, Carrot Bars leads a length and a half. Second is Snackster. These two have three on Ever Three, who's at the rail. Back to fourth in Future Flay. Then Kenya Sun and Hutzba as they 
have less than five sixteenths to run. Up front, Carrot Bar is tackled now by Snackster. These two, two and a half lengths better than ever three. At the rail, Hutzpah comes alive. Wide and not gaining is Kenya Sun, and they're at the top of the stretch. Snackster and Franklin Caius, three sixteenths from home and two and a half on top. Taking aim, ever three down the center, up the rail, and Hutzpah. Time ticking away to get to Snackster, and in fact, nobody's getting to Snackster. Snackster is home and cooled at eight to five. She'll win with something in the tank by four or five in the end. Hutzpa rallies for second. Ever three is third. And future play ran fourth. They're at the post, and they're off. Good start for Rita Book, a better start for Mui Chistosa from down toward the inside. Newcomer, I'm already taken away in the top flight. Fourth early is Adios Baby. Rushing forward on the outside's Fightful Sis with She's a Spitfire just to her inside. The two at the back are Run, Lulu, Run, and Chaparral Pass. The favorites in front, Mui Chistosa in front three parts of length. Moving up on the outside, that's She's a Spitfire into second. Rita Book is off heels in between horses. Adios, baby. Back from there, Spiteful Sis working two ahead of I'm already taken. Out the back, Chaparral pass and run, Lulu, run. They run around the far turn at the 516. She's a Spitfire within a neck of Mui Chistosa. They kick on three and a half lengths better than Adios, baby and Rita Book. Backpedaling is spiteful, sis, so the race is up top here, quarter of a mile from home. She's a Spitfire issues the challenge to Mui Chistosa, and She's a Spitfire has taken a narrow lead. Mui Chistosa needs to find under pressure, working three better than Adios Baby, then read a book and a late run down the center from I'm Already Taken. Final eighth of a mile, She's a Spitfire has a clear lead. I'm Already Taken, storming home. Here's I'm Already Taken, rolling down the center and up in time. Second is Adios Baby. Maybe she's a Spitfire was third, Mui Chistosa fourth, Rita Book ran fifth in the sixth. And they're off. Living Water was actually last into stride. He's rushing forward now, though, and challenging for the lead with span of control. These two race on. A chilly third is Fulton Street. Back to fourth, starting up ahead of Gun for Success. Out the back is Solar Tap. They race to the half-mile point. It's Span of Control taking it to Living Water. The two favorites are heads apart. They work five ahead of Fulton Street. At the rail, that's starting up into fourth. Two better than Gun for Success. Then Solar Tap. Farther back to Unified Conquest. 
22 and 4 for a posted quarter speed. The battle rages on on the top end. Living Water along the rail. Span of control on the outside. They continue to spar. They're six ahead of Fulton Street together with starting up. Unified Conquest begins to stoke the boilers. He's in the yellow colors into fifth and about seven lengths off the lead. And they're at the top of the stretch. On the outside, it's Span of Control trying to do away with Living Water. They're still five ahead of an odd rushing Unified Conquest. He's really rolling now. Leonel Reyes trying to get a 16th more from Span of Control. Unified Unified Conquest is flying on. Span of Control needs the wire. Unified Conquest got him. Unified Conquest caught Span of Control in the last jump to win the seventh in 105 and 1. Gray tap at Brio, one of the first into stride from down toward the inside. Southern Breeze away in the top flight, splitting them our Admiral on the go. These three are quickest. Over Calendared is away racing in fourth, followed fifth by Street Glide. Sixth and out wide is Sunspot with my brother Mike. Seventh, eighth at the rail, Big Boy Tizzy. Ninth is Travel Guide. Tenth is Dial Him Up. And eleventh and last is T-Ville. And the run around the first turn, our Admiral kicks clear to lead by a length and a half. Southern Breeze is second, Tapid Brio is third. In between horses, it's over Calendar, who's racing from fourth. Up to the outside in Sunspot, two better than Street Glide, who's at the rail. Half length back to my brother Mike, who's a length and a half better than Big Boy Tizzy. Travel Guide is along the rail. Lingering at the back, dial him up in T-Ville. 24 and 1 for the opening quarter speed as they race with four and a half furlongs to run. Our Admiral with some late money on in front by a length and a half. Southern Breeze is second. Tapid Brio sequestered at the rail third. Three wide. Over Calendar is now fourth. Two back to Street Glide. Then Sunspot and my brother Mike trying to wind it up from the back is dial him up as they swing around that far turn. Marcos Manessis asking our Admiral for another gear. He leads a half a length over Southern Breeze in second. Tapid Brio is now third. Street Glide at a big price is into fourth. Three quarters. 113 flat, they're at the top of the stretch. It's still our Admiral the target. He leads by two. Tapid Brio surging to him on the outside in Southern Breeze is third. Final eighth of a mile. Tapid Brio, he's wearing down our Admiral who clings to the lead. Tapid Brio and Miguel Vasquez front and center. Tapid Brio wins. Our Admiral second, Southern Breeze third, Street Glide fourth, 137 and one. Good start out wide for Chasing Joy. Delray Dolly was with the leaders at the start. Splitting horses look up to heaven, but Laura's Lady proves the superior speed, and she's front and center here. Laura's Lady by a length and a half. Up on the outside, look up to heaven is their second. Chasing Joy is widest of all. Delray Dolly backs into a good striking position. Hanita's Empire is on her outside, then on Bridled Glitter. Chickaboom is at the rail. She's last of all as they swing to the far turn. Up front, it's Lara's Lady in front by half a length. Chasing Joy keeps the heat on second. They've worked four ahead of a retreating look up to heaven. Delray Dolly is next with Hanita's Empire three wide. At the rail, Chickaboom, followed by Little Belita and Unbridled Glitter. Strung out over a ton of ground as they run to the top of the stretch. Laura's Lady has a challenge from Chasing Joy, who will not go away. These two have five on Delray Dolly. She needs to boogie from there. Hanita's Empire's on her outside, and they're at the top of the stretch. Chasing Joy is up for a narrow lead as Laura's Lady is trying to fight back toward the rail. Delray Dolly, she's punching now with Hanita's Empire. Delray Dolly's going to make this close. They come past the 16th pole. Delray Dolly surging forward way out wide, but she's along in time. Del Rey Dolly wins. Chasing Joy was a one-woman wrecking crew late, but it did her no good. She had to settle for second. Unbridled Glitter was third in 112 and four.
capacity. Strategic speed. Some speed of two, but can carry it on through their later careers. Improbable, full of run. Improbable, now a grade one winner. It is a complete runaway, an authoritative run. It's improbable to win the Whitney. Racing in the Roar Stakes. Excellent start for Classic State of Mind at the rail, who reaches out for the early lead. Away in second is captured the time. They sprint two better than last leaf, together with No Nay Franklin. Out the back early, King of Truth and Always Gambling is last. They go half a mile from the finish, and the leader clearly is Classic State of Mind by a length and a half. Captured the time is beat to the punch today. He races from second. At the rail, No Nay Franklin is within range. He's now third. From fourth and last, Leaf, three better than King of Truth, and always gambling is last. They run to the top of the stretch, and Classic State of Mind, and Amisael Jaramillo, a quarter of a mile from mon uh, the money, and two on top. Captured the time second. No Nay Franklin is at the rail. He angles and starts to close a bit of ground with three sixteenths remaining. Classic State of of mine trying to go down the road in here down the center capture the time trying to launch at him from no nay franklin who's destined for a minor placing as classic state of mind is still finding classic state of mind went gate to wire to win the roar capture the time was second no nay franklin third always gambling finish fourth away. Milanita quick off the blocks and tries to get a clear advantage. Here's the first timer, Ninja Abario put into play. Uncaptured Faith driving through at the rail. Irish Samurai's in early fourth. Followed fifth by Real Good Vibes, then Mudshaft and the joke's on me. And the trailer is Mangarita. They make their way to the half mile point. It's Ninja Abario in front and on a hold. Leads by two while there are Uncaptured Faith in second. Irish Samurai third. Milanita, one of the first into stride, is fourth at the rail. Moving up on the outside, show me love. In between horses and real good vibes. Then back to the jokes on me at Mudshaft. Three wide at the back is Mangarita. And up front, it's still Ninja Abario. At the 5 16 Ninja Abario leads, but a challenge is coming as Uncaptured Faith within the next second. Irish Samurai is now third. The jokes on me swung to the center. Melanita grinding away along the rail through a 46 and 4 opening half mile. Off the turn and the stretch drive. Ninja Abario rebreaks and still has the lead by a length and a half. Uncaptured Faith is second. Down the center an Irish Samurai. Final 16th of a mile. Edgar Perez and Ninja Abario driven out. Second Uncaptured Faith. Third Irish Irish Samurai, Ninja Barrio in front. Second is Uncaptured Faith. Third is Un Irish Samurai. Fourth, Mudshaft. Then the joke's on me. And that wraps up Saturday's action. We're back here on Sunday with a really nice nine race car. The first race post will be 1.05 p.m. So come out and join us. It's just been a fun summer so far, spring summer here at Gulfstream Park. Good night. Good luck.